Getting the corn plants to crossbreed may be easy, but finding a breakthrough hybrid requires a lot of trial and error. Like creating a new drug, breeding new corn varieties can take years of work and cost a fortune. The hybrid seeds that a farmer plants has millions of dollars of research behind it. And our symbiotic relationship with corn doesn't end in the breeding lab. Getting the man-made corn to grow isn't just a matter of scattering some seeds and hoping for the best. You pay for everyone, you won't plant everyone. Just getting the seeds in the ground is a roll of the dice. There's an old saying, you don't have to go to Vegas to gamble. You can do it by becoming a farmer. We have normally a narrow window due to weather concerns to get our crop planted. But it's not just the seeds themselves that are carefully designed by man. It's also how they're planted. In the wild, seeds are dispersed by winds or animals. On a corn farm, they're dispersed by high-tech equipment. Each one of these diesel-powered beasts pull planters some 60 feet wide and capable of spitting out 32,000 seeds per acre. If you calculate that, that comes out to about one seed every six inches. I'm checking my spacing right now. Apparently, we very close to six. Because every inch matters, some farmers even employ satellites 12,000 miles above the fields to guide their machines. By using GPS to plant and then coming back to do all the subsequent tillage and maintenance operations, we're able to follow the same track and we never damage the crop. But to really blast off, corn needs a turbocharger. In this case, nitrogen-rich fertilizer. Nitrogen powers the creation of basic building blocks, amino acids, and cell membranes. But the soil alone can't supply enough of it, so farmers use fertilizer to increase their yields. It takes an immense amount of fertilizer, like between 100 and 200 pounds an acre, because corn is a very greedy plant. The process of making all that fertilizer causes two problems. It consumes fossil fuel and creates pollution. 